Okay, friends, you did a really good job remembering the things in this these two books that were the same and the things that were different. I put some of the things you said on our chart. You might have added a few other things too, but these are also things that I noticed that were the same. Remember, that means it happened in both books or things that were different. Maybe something that was only in this book or something that was in this book. So let's start with things that were the same. Something that was the same in both of these books is that they talked about places that animals live or their homes. Okay. Another thing that was the same was they both talked about people. Remember at the end, this book asked what habitat you live in. And at the beginning, this book said people live in homes. So they both talked about people and where they live also. But there were more differences between these two books. In this book, they use the word habitat, meaning a place on earth that animals or people live, like the ocean, the coral reef, the mountains, the rainforest. Those are specific places or habitats. This book talked about the type of homes. So they use the word home like a house, a nest, hives. So they use different words to describe where people or animals live. Another thing was different was the animals they showed. This book showed birds, bees, rabbits, spiders, and bats. This book showed a kangaroo, a penguin, octopus, orca, and crocodile. So they showed different animals. So we noticed that there were two things that were the same, but there were three things that were different. When we see different books on the same topic, we can learn different things from each book. But we can also notice when things are the same. So if you're reading any nonfiction books or you have an interest that you might want to look up, maybe at the library or on the internet, you can notice when things are the same or when things are different. And that helps you to think about what you're learning.